Hello everyone, Bill Bacardi. Hopefully everybody's well. Um, it's like 4.30 in the morning here. It's the same night of the uh, that package that I did. The package from uh, Pick a Winner and uh, Don's Locks. I went upstairs, took a shower, fell asleep. Uh, excuse me. And I got a lockout call. But I was reading the comments on the... The video for the uh, package opening that I did. And, uh, man, this is going to flop all over the place in here because of the rubber band. Yeah, we'll try it there. And Pick a Winner left a comment and wished me good luck again. If you look on his note, he wished me good luck here. That makes me feel like there's some kind of trickery in this lock. It's supposed to be all, here's what it says. Bill Bacardi, thank you for accepting my first challenge lock. It is all standard pins. Good luck, pick a winner. So if you're going to tell me good luck more than one time, you've got something going on inside here. So we're going to stick a pick in this. See if we can figure out what old uh, pick a winner's done in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's pretty squared up there. Let me see. Shit, I'm not even in frame. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to move these up just a little bit because I'm way out of frame. My camera's way too low there. Much better. Okay. Uh, it's a quick set keyway, so I'm going to use this Daz, this Daz Evers. This is a really heavy-duty pick. One, two, three. See that? It's just going to bounce all over the place, this lock, because of that rubber band around it. Pins are real, real slippery. Very, very slick. It's real hard to get under. And I believe that's... Wow. I think that's... Well, I just got a little turn on the core. feel like they're just about all set and they're not going to get no clicks or nothing on this because it's, it's all standard pins that pin right there is pushing me backwards for some reason you know what let's relock this i want to look down this core and see if there's all standard pins in there oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to blind just guys oh that's blinding it looks standard to me. Ooh, there's something in the bottom of that core. There's a pin in the bottom of that core. How did he do that? <laughs> See, I knew there was some trickery. I knew it. Okay, this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to pick these top pins. And then, uh, we'll try this probe. See if they'll make it back there. Yeah, there's definitely a pin in the back, back in the bottom of that lock, like an Everest almost, guys. <laughs> ah, nice job. Nice, nice, nice job. Okay. Five is definitely set. Four feels good. He's binding. Okay, let me stick my little thing in here. We're open. Well, easy picking. Uh, pick a winner. As you can see, that lock's open, buddy. Trickery and all, my friend. Uh, very sneaky, buddy. Let's not take this out of frame. I don't want nobody saying that that wasn't a good pick. Uh, should we unmummy this key? Yeah, let's unmummy this key just to see what's going on. Oh, man, number one was real deep. Wow, what a good... I see what he's done. Okay, see that key, guys? I see exactly what he's done. That pin must slide under here, and then you're able to turn the key. I don't know if the key works or not. Um, let's cut it, and we'll see. 
Oh, did I go out of frame there? I hope not. No, okay. Let me get higher on this board. This is one of them real skinny little detent pins and they're real hard to... Shit, I just, I just locked it up. Hopefully that key works, guys. <sighs> Man, I'm still shaking. I've only had one cup of coffee this morning. <sighs> okay, let's hope that key works. <laughs> that key won't even go in it. Huh. How did it pick? Hmm. Let's stick that back in the vise. Maybe that pin's right at shear or something? I can't imagine. I'm kind of at a loss here, guys. Let's get this back up here. See, that, that pin's not even moving. Oh, I'm real loose. It's not moving at all. Huh. That's really weird. Okay. I feel like they're all set. Yeah, and it's open again. That pin must be right at shear there, guys. Ah, I can't imagine how he's done that. How did he get a spring in the bottom of the lock? I see. The rubber band is the spring. See where it's pushing up? There's duct tape here. Let me get closer. I'm sorry, guys. See where he's got... That's the pin poking up there in that little hump. Out of the bottom of that keyway. Well, if they're all standards, I shouldn't... Ah, you know what? I'm still going to shim it, guys. Because <laughs> that could get ugly. Ooh, that's going to be hard to get a shim in, though. Uh, let's see, where's the Bible here? Okay. Yeah, that's going to be really tough to get a shim into, guys. Because of how that pin is going down in there. Okay. Uh, man, I can't believe how bad I'm still shaking, guys. If I can push down on that core a little bit, I should be able to get him in there. There he's in. He's in. I'll just let him ride the plug follower around. That's all. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that is really, 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 really tight. Oh, I almost lost that. Let me get my shim off of the back of here, guys. I got it in my hand here. We almost dropped that core. Shims, shim. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, so number one was right real close to shear, but I don't understand why a key wouldn't go in it. And they all do look standard pins to me. Hmm. That last one sticks out, hangs up. Okay, I'm going to dump these to make sure they're standards. Okay, number one's a standard. Two's a standard. Three's a standard. Four. And five's a standard. Okay. Um, if it's all standards. See, I don't know how he has this one in here, guys. So I don't know if it lines up with the Bible or how I'm going to get that back in there if I pull that out. We'll try. I got to show it's a valid lock, right? Everything's got to be in it and working. Ah, yeah, pick a winner. It didn't work too well on me, my friend. <laughs> if you wouldn't have said good luck so many times, I might not have been so suspicious. I see how he came out. He was pointing downwards like that, which I wonder if that pin was just jammed up when I went to stick the key back in it, sitting at shear line. That was weird. Okay, that's a regular driver pin. God, I'm shaking so bad. Let's bring two here. Okay. And I'll bring us down to the pinning board and show they're all standards. Ooh, that was a long one. And he had the round part up on that, too. Hmm. 
gonna give you a little tip, Ben Pickin, when I get you down here. I'm not Ben. I keep calling you Ben Pickin. I'm sorry. Um, pick a winner. He's new in our community, guys. And uh, please go go check out his channel. He's gonna open a channel very soon, I think. Four doesn't seem to have a pin in it. It's got a pin in the lock, but no pin in up in up top. If it does, it is stuck. Let's go from the back side here. Man, I wish I had a follower that was flat. Here, you know what? Let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. I'm going to follow this one back through this way. Yeah. Ooh, that rubber band broke too from probably tightening in the vise because it was bouncing around so bad. Okay, let's see. Where's five at? Because I think this one's going to come out before five or it's even with five maybe. It's even with five is what it is. Okay. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That was five. Yeah. And here, I'm going to show you how he's got that in there, guys. There's nothing in four. Oh, no, there it is. It just came out. It was stuck down in the chamber. Maybe that's why it picked so easy. <laughs> and we was this way. Yes. Okay. But now I lost the little one that he had in the bottom of the chamber there. Shit. Or was that it? You know what? That was it. There was nothing in four, guys. This was the one in the bottom of the chamber. Yep. Yeah, there was no driver in four. And there's the spring out of five. Did you just forget to put a driver in there? There's one stuck in there. Let me show you how this works first, guys. I'm going to hold the light back here. But see that? That's the bottom of the, the keyway there. And that little pin is pushed by these rubber bands up into that keyway. That's a pretty good idea. I don't know how long it'll last for, but it's a pretty good idea. Uh, let me get that one out. That would be our check pin. Okay. And uh, I want to stick something down in four. I, I think the driver's stuck. How do you stick? Yeah, it's tough. There it is. I just it came flying out of there. Spring steel, spring there. Okay, this is going to be a long video, guys. I'm sorry. And there's nothing done to the Bible, nothing done to the plug, guys. Completely stock and standard. Huh. Okay, let me bring this down to the pinning board real fast, and I can show you what he did here. Oh, this ain't too bad. It's only 12 minutes. Okay. And I picked it twice. So these were the standards in number one. These were the standards in number two. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm very sorry, but I got to stand this up because I'm shaking so, so bad. And I'll just shake his to death there. Don't know how to zoom. I wish I did. All right, so this is what was in one, two, three, four. All standard springs. Now, you know what? The last two, four and five are a little shorter steel springs. And then he had this little detent pin that went right in here. See where he's got this little hole here? There's like a little, I'm sorry. There's like a little, I'm so bad at doing this through the camera. So he has that little thing wallowed out there. <laughs> it's a good idea, but it didn't work on me, buddy. Uh, pick a winner. Thank you. Everybody else, thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support. Uh, it was an awesome try, pick a winner. Everybody else, have a great, I'm guessing it's going to be morning now. <laughs> good, good night, everyone.